guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be explaining how to export your mod and install it into a Minecraft, um, basically a Minecraft uh, 1.14 version. Uh, you're going to need Forge for this to work. It's going to only work on Java and um, uh, a good thing to do is to read over the uh, mCreator EULA, so if you're planning on uh, accepting any payments for the thing, just know that you can't actually sell the mod, but you can accept donations. So as long as it isn't restricting people to um, the mod by uh, some form of money or thing like that, then you can basically uh, accept donations. So in order to export your mod, uh, there is a icon up here. If you hover over it, it will say uh, export the mod for distribution. Uh, you can also go to workspace and click on the same icon down here. So control E will also export your mod. So if you just click control and then E and it'll go and start the exporting process. So uh, the, the version of M creator that you're working on for the for Minecraft. So if you're working on a 1.14 mod, it will only be compatible with 1.14. So once you've read the EULA, ex agree and export the mod, and then you want to save it as um, something that people can read. I'm going to call it. Um, so this is my personal mod for. Uh, path, so I'm going to call it North Path uh, Mod, uh, and then I'm going to do underscore. Uh, probably the Minecraft version would be a good idea, so 1 um, dash 14 dash 4, and then underscore, and then the mod version, so 0 dash 1 dash 0, and then people can basically identify that it's for Minecraft 1.14 and the version of the actual um, mod itself. So once you got that all set up, uh, what you can do is just click save and it will save it to uh, the folder. Now, um, if you wanna make sure it saves it to your desktop, you can click that home icon as well. So you can do that. So that's all we need to do here. Um, what we can now do is uh, our mod is right here. You're going to need Forge. So if you don't have Forge already, head over to uh, minecraftforge.net and then, then you want to go to the version of Forge that you're downloading for and then select the download recommended build. And then you want the installer. So once you got the installer, um, you can move on to the next step. And that's uh, basically double clicking on the item. Now, if you're setting up a Minecraft server, then you want to click install server. And if you're setting up a client version, just click on client. So clients basically for your own personal use. If people are joining your server, they're going to have to install the client as well. And if you're running a server, then you're going to need to install the server version. So just basically click OK and then it will automatically install the Forge version for your client. So once you get that all set up, it'll just take a couple seconds uh, depending on the speed of your computer. You want to go to your Minecraft launcher and then you want to go to installations and you should have a Forge version right here. Uh, this one's particularly unnamed, but it says uh, 1.14 Forge and then the version number of Forge. We're going to actually make a new profile using this uh, version here. So to do that, uh, we're going to click on the little plus icon up at the top of the list, and then we're going to actually go to our .minecraft folder. So we're going to go percent app data percent and then it's this folder here and then what we want to do is go to our dot minecraft folder and then i have created a profiles folder so all my profiles are in one place this is a, probably a good practice to do if you are um, using mods and other versions of uh, minecraft so the um, all the game files are not sharing the same files and stuff so 
you're going to want to create a profile folder and then you're going or profiles and then a new profile here. So I like to generally create a new profile one uh, in the folder itself. I'm going to call it, uh, I'm just going to delete this one and I'm going to rename this, delete that. And I'm going to call it uh, 1.14.4 forge underscore profile one and we're going to open up that folder and then we're going to copy the path up at the top here we're going to put it into the game directory and then what we want to do is name it something that we can remember so minecraft forge and then 1.14.4 and then uh, for the other options you don't need to worry too much about this stuff down here just make sure that your version is on the release uh, 1.14.4 or whatever version of forge you have and then um, the version number so we're going to use that one for the release and then we're going to click create and then what we want to do is actually go back to play click on the profile that we just created. So it's down at the bottom here. I'm gonna select that, we're gonna click play. It's gonna generate the files needed in the folder here, as you can see. And uh, for what we're gonna to need to do is actually go and drag our newly exported mod after this is finished, setting it up. Uh, you might wanna configure your um, your settings as well. I generally like to set it to 16 chunks and um, disable the music and set controls, disable auto jump and uh, disable bobbing. Everything else is pretty good. I like to have that at max. Okay, so that's good. And um, I think that's everything. So we can now exit out of the game. Uh, we're going to actually go and drop our mod into the mods folder in the same profile. So we're currently in the same profile that we set up for Forge and then it's your mods are in here and then you're just going to drop your mod into the mods folder. And once you got that done, uh, what we're going to do is now relaunch Minecraft on the same version and it'll just take a second to load up and then what we'll do is make sure that our mods are working so to test to see if your mods are working you click can click on the mods and then see if it's loaded in here if it is then that's great if not, then uh, then you might want to re-export and make sure it's on the right version for Forge. So uh, next, uh, we're just going to click on a quick single player world. We're going to set it to creative and we're going to just quickly confirm that our mod is working. So this will just take a second and then we'll be able to confirm that the mod's actually working and everything's fine. So with this particular mod that I made, I have a new tab. So it's right here, that's perfect. And all the blocks are in the mod. So that's perfect, our mod's working. Hopefully you guys found this tutorial useful. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below and rate the video. And I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching, peace out.